Good evening, and welcome to my kitchen. I hope we're catching you at dinner time, because today is Maundy Thursday, the day when we commemorate Jesus having dinner with his friends for the last time. It's also the day that he gave them a new commandment, or a mandate, which is why it's called Maundy Thursday. It's from the Latin word for mandate. So here's what you can expect tonight. There'll be a short reading, a reflection, and a song, and then we'll show a video of us stripping the altar at church, preparing our worship space and our hearts for Good Friday tomorrow. Now we gather tonight in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from John. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God, was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. And for this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done for you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Word of God, word of life. Wash your hands. How many times have you said that this year? I've said it literally hundreds of times. Sometimes we say I love you by saying I love you, and sometimes we say I love you by saying wash your hands. This year, hand, hand washing and mask wearing and social distancing have all been ways of showing love, a way that we take care of ourselves and each other. As we just heard Lexi read, on the last night that Jesus had dinner with his friends, he got down on his knees and he washed their feet. He said to them, if I, your teacher and Lord, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet, for I have set for you an example that you should also do as I have done to you. He then told them that he was giving them a new commandment, to love one another. He said, just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. And we don't go around washing each other's feet anymore, but we can still love and serve like Jesus did. In your Holy Week at Home Bags, you'll find a little bottle of hand sanitizer with a clip. When you go out into the world, take this with you and use a squirt of it. Share some with the people around you. 
This year, one of the ways that we show love to others is by washing our hands and inviting other people to do the same. It's one of the ways that we keep each other healthy and safe. It's how we love each other. So go out into the world and share your hand sanitizer. It's kind of a weird way to say I love you, but I think Jesus would approve. Thanks be to God. Amen. As we go out on this Maundy Thursday, I'll be performing a new song entitled, Where Charity and Love Are Shown. of God are